Hey, everybody. I'm Mark Edward Lewis from Cinema Sound. Today, we're going to talk about how do you know what kind of music to put into a scene? And even if you're a composer, that can be a very difficult thing to do, much less if you're a filmmaker and you don't have any kind of formal musical training. Well, in the Cinema Sound education, we show you how to do this in depth. But uh, we just finished the mix on the short film, sci-fi short film called Outpost. And I wanted to kind of give you just some general spotting rules because a lot of you have been asking, how do you know what to put where? Let's jump in and figure it out. I'm here in Pro Tools, but anything that I'm going to talk about here uh, is of a general musical uh, understanding. So it'll work on any digital audio workstation as long as it has MIDI because this is for music. But uh, the first thing that we want to do is always watch the scene. And we want to be able to kind of grasp without any judgment, just kind of watch it as an audience member. That's critical, not as a composer or a filmmaker, but watch it as an audience member. What sticks out? For you, what's your first impressions of the edit, of the characters, of the pacing? The next thing we want to do is come up with that tempo, that pacing, and we do that by putting in markers. Where do we want to mark uh, either musical changes or things that we need to hit or anything like that? And then third, of course, is come up with the actual style and uh, whatever else you want to do. We're not going to get into the style or anything like that, but we are going to talk about the spotting, which is marks and uh, kind of general temp tempo ideas. But let's first watch this scene between these two characters here. They're on a space station. Just going to watch it, uh, uh, and I'll make a little commentary while we go. All right. Come on, give me something here. Come on, come on, come on. So they're obviously looking for something. We want to be watching. Oh, that's bad. Signal failed. Their reactions... And we want to be careful about cutting speed because sometimes that can affect our musical choices. And there's a new sound effect that's coming in. There's wonder oh on the faces there. Oh my God, Aria! Oh my God! Citizen, we're receiving transmission. Yes, we. Yes, we are receiving transmission. Citizen, the probe <laughs> signal is steady. Keep it steady! Come on! Come on! Oh my God! It worked, Citizen. <laughs> it worked. <gasps> Woo! Yes! Woo! I love that. Humor there. <laughs> There's a little uh, revelation there that might be some sparks. It's beautiful. And there's a nice moment here for music to do something to accentuate what's going on between them. There's obviously something going on there. And then bad what is news. It? We're losing a signal. All right, so we'll get that far, and I'm going to make this smaller because the screen, now that we get the idea. I like to use markers to go through and then just mark things that uh, I need to be careful of, uh, things that we want to hit, tempos that might need to change, or just anything that could affect the music, and then obviously review those with the director or with the producer or the clients or whatever. All right, so we're going to start back here. I'm going to zoom in. Cool. Cool. All right. So let's say music starts here after his line, all right. Yeah. All right. So about here, I'm going to go in. I'm going to say marker. And then for me, I just type in start, start MX, and I get a nice little marker here. Awesome. We'll keep going. All right. Come on, give me something. Here. Dialogue, dialogue. They're wondering. Come on. Right there, that's the BD, and we find where that where the light comes in. And for me, sometimes I don't like hitting right when things happen because it sometimes it takes audience members maybe a half second or more to register what just happened. So I'll find where this is, which is six sixteen ten, and roll over a half second or so to about here, and then I'll say I'll say hit. All right, now that we have our first uh, hit, we're gonna keep rolling here. And I like when his head drops right there as sort of like a resignation. Let's check that out. Unless we would probably want to do something musical there, right, as his head comes down. Because we, uh, the audience, would feel that too, resignation. And, you know, you don't want to talk to actors with emotional terms. But as in music, that's all we want to use because it's all about what the audience wants to feel, what we want the audience to feel. And feeling language is what we want to use there. 
some resignation. Now, some composers would have started the musical change with the beeping, but I think that'd be a huge mistake because we as the audience don't know what that is. And we may want to wait until the actors have the response. So let's see where that might be, where the actors realize. Here's the resignation and the beeping. Wonder. So the realization really sort of is on that oh my god line, which is right about here. Oh my god. So let's start just after his line. Uh, and this is wonder. And we'll probably want to build. My god. Oh my god. Start oh building. My god. Oh my god. Citizen, we're receiving transmission. Yes, we yes we are receiving transmission. Citizen, the probe <laughs> signal is steady. Keep it steady. Come on, come on. Oh my god. It worked, citizen. <laughs> it worked. <gasps> Woo! So how far do we build it? How far do we like build a musical moment? Well, you want to go to where the actors are. And that peak uh, for the actors is when he says, yes, woo, right? So that's somewhere here. And that's where we'd want the music to build to. We have to be very careful because there's a ton of dialogue underneath them. This is the peak of the MX. So we want to be careful as we build. It works. And there's sound effects. Woo. Yes. Boom. Woo. Music would hit there and then begin coming down because what happens here, he lets out the air in the scene, just lets it out. And, you know, whether that was good or bad, it doesn't matter. It's what he did. And the actor actually lets the air out of the scene. So we want the music to kind of follow that, uh, as you'll see here in a second. Where is that line? Right there. You can see the waveform right here. And then we'll tail down. Because there's lots of space, but we don't want to fall prey to the enemy of just filling space because there is space. That's beautiful. Because she says this nice line. They're in reflective mode. Then when she turns, that's when we start seeing a little sparks action right around here. So I'm just going to say sparks. Nice. We'll keep going. And then on her turn back again, there's a sound effect. We don't know what that means. It sounds bad, but we don't want to start the music right on top of that. So right where she turns to real, uh-oh, there. And this is where we go, bad build. And then from here, we're bad, build or bad. Now, this is just these are just some simple markers that you can put in um, that give you kind of an outline as to what musically you want to do. We haven't talked about music. We haven't talked about anything like that. But for those of you who want to know about spotting, the next thing we would do is go through and put in what the tempos would be because the tempo is the most musically important aspect of your score. So if we play through this, we know we're going to start here. Something here. Come on, come on, come on. You've got actually a sound effect that's going on in there. And then it goes with that fail and then the resignation. And what, what I like to do is just kind of just use a manual snap. This is my manual metronome here, though, my snaps, and just go through and just go, how does this feel? And does anything kind of line up with this tempo? Let's see. And does it feel right? Let's start here. We start. Come on, come on, come on. So it's not in tempo with that beep because that'd be weird. That's, and we hit the tempo, we hit the, this marker here. So we would mark this in our tempo map and just go, great, let's let's put that tempo in. Um, and, you know, for those of you who use Pro Tools, you know how to do that. I never do music in Pro Tools. It's just not my thing. But um, then you go from marker to marker. So you'd mark that tempo. And you'd line it up here with this hit. And we'd probably hold here, hit. And then resignation. Let's see what this feels like. Something a little slower. And the wonder. Oh my God. Maybe a little bit faster. Oh. But that tempo is a little bit slower. And then once we get here, let's see what oh this wonder God. feels like. Oh my God. Aria. Oh my God. Citizen, we're receiving transmission. Yes, we yes, we are receiving transmission. You see these graphics Citizen that are moving all around that are and the cutting is a little bit different. So we'll definitely speed this up. Let's see how oh this goes. 
Oh my god. Arya. Oh my god. Citizen, we're receiving transmission. Yes, we are. Yes, we are receiving it's actually transmission. sinking. Citizen, the probe <laughs> signal is steady. Keep it steady. Come on, come on. Oh my god. It worked, Citizen. <laughs> it worked. <gasps> Woo! Yes! Whoa! Maybe a little bit faster, but it's actually syncing right with all the graphics, which is super cool. We would keep this tempo going. Yes! Whoa! I love that! <laughs> Until we hit the his release. Boom. <gasps> right there. A little bit slower. But you see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of adding, and I would create tempo maps that move through each one of these hits. I would only move the tempo as, as little as possible, and I would use metronomic change, or uh, uh, meter changes rather than metronome changes to try to hit those hits perfectly. So far, none of these hits have to be dead frame accurate. If you did have to do frame accurate hits, you would, same process, just be more meticulous with your uh, with your uh, uh, with your tempos and and line them up. You know, like if I wasn't quite quite going to hit a, a, a quarter note beat, I would use a five eight bar or a three eight bar or something in there, so the tempo can keep going more or less at the same place. But then, you know, instead of one and two and three and four and oh, I missed it. I can go one two three four five boom, boom. And I can still hit it uh, using eighth notes. So hopefully this gives you a general idea about how to do spotting, get your music locked in. Uh, let's take a listen to what actually the composer did. Um, I don't, I've never even met the composer, but give you an idea. And you can kind of make up your mind as to how well he did in honoring these kind of rules. Give me something here. Oh my god, are you? Oh my god. Citizen, we're receiving transmission. Yes, we are. Yes, we are receiving transmission. Citizen, the probe <laughs> signal is steady. Keep it steady. Come on, come on. Oh my god. It worked, Citizen. <laughs> it worked. <gasps> Woo! Yes! Woo! I love that. <laughs> So a lot of things that composer, even without seeing this video, knew to do already. Uh, if you're a composer or you need to get music into your film, hey man, come on to the cinemasound.com blog or join us on the Facebook group and uh, ask questions and I and my staff will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, definitely come by the Cinema Sound store. we got all kinds of uh, resources for you from Premiere Pro presets to uh, Foley libraries uh, to more education. And uh, we'd love to see you there and support you in any way we can. Until then, we'll see you on the scoring stage. Even if you're